Hey Mindful Mavens, it's your host Carla Fleming and I just wanted to share with you this tiniest little interview what's kind of like a sneak peek of what's to come in January. I just had the chance to sit down and Skype with our January celebrity Mindful Maven, Brett Allen Morgan. I'm so blessed to call Brett just a dear, dear friend, and I can't wait to share him with all of you if you haven't met him already. And uh, he's going to share some pretty golden nuggets of personal development a little bit in this interview, and then of course at our live meeting, which is coming up. He's the first celebrity maven of 2016, and our meeting is on January 25th from 6 to 8 p.m. So mark your calendars. We're at the Erie County Public Library inside the H.O. Hurt Memorial Auditorium. So right in the theater, we're going to have a blast. Of course, Brett is a fellow musician, so I think there's going to be some music that night. And of course, we are all going to be discussing the book of January. So grab your book, bring your insights to the table. We want to hear what you have to say about this book. It's a game changer. I know you know it as well. Um, I'll put a link to the book below so that you can grab your copy. And um, a little note about the end of this video is that of course I had a computer glitch right at the end when Brett was sharing the most amazing and just uplifting quote so it cut him off right where it would leave us hanging but I'm not gonna leave you hanging I'll fill in the blanks so that we can close that out and you can go on feeling uplifted and inspired which is how I feel every time I chat with Brett Allen Morgan so enjoy this little sneak peek I'll see you at the live meeting and happy new year everybody see you soon Howdy, ma'am. hey you how's it going Going excellent. How's it going for you? Good. It's so good to see you. Wonderful. It's just a great look for you. <laughs> Thanks. Back at you. I love. Are you like in your music studio? I'm actually in my office. Oh, cool. I thought my library book thing would be appropriate for a backdrop. <laughs> yeah, of <laughs> course. With the book club, right? Yeah, for this meeting, that works so perfectly. So I just want to thank you so so much for. Um, being one of our featured celebrity mavens coming up. We just can't wait to have you, and I'm so grateful that you could take the time. And I know you saw in that agreement, there's a kind of a lot to it. You've got to read the book, and you've got to do all these things. So thank you for taking the time and really committing. This is awesome. I'm, I'm honored to, to be a part of it. I've been, you know, I've been watching you since, um, well, since we first met in Toastmasters, and your personal growth journey has just been something that, <laughs> that I, I am excited about because I know, um, you know, what I've gone through the last 20, 30 years and, and, and um, looking back on what, you know, I've experienced, I've always been excited when people start to realize what's, what their potential is and uh -huh. what they can do. And, you know, it's really up to you who, who you are and what you become, you know, so... And you're finding that secret, and it's so cool to watch. Aw, uh, thank you. And that means the world to me, especially coming from you, because I do remember our meeting at Toastmasters, and I remember your Toastmasters journey, and oh my gosh, watching you just kind of skyrocket through the membership and through all of the speeches and everything. You were a true mentor to me and to our whole club, really. I mean, and then I think it was within, like, months you became the president and just, I mean, it was so cool to watch. And so coming from you, all of that really means a lot to me. It's so fun for both of us to, yeah. I feel that we're both in a space where we, we do see and feel our potential and we want to share our gifts with the world. So I love to see what you're doing and um, you're always inspiring me just immensely. So thank I'm you humble. for that. I'm humble. Thank you. Aww. everybody's new year so do you have any practices that you do maybe like ritualistic things to close out the old year and welcome the new year um i used to take from christmas to new year's uh -huh. and i begin reviewing how i did with what i said i was going to do last year Great and strategy. and i start asking myself uh, you know if i did this great 
what did it do for me? Was it the thing I wanted? How can I build on it? Then I say, if I didn't do this, was this important? Is it still going to be important? Now, I'm not talking about New Year's resolutions. Yeah. I'm talking about life directives. You know, where am I, you know, how far off course am I? And what can I do to correct? And, and is, that, is that destination still important or do I need to adjust? You know, do you know yeah. that airplanes, my dad's a pilot, was a pilot for years. Do you know that an airplane makes multiple, multiple, multiple adjustments from the time it takes off? to the time it lands at its destination so that it makes sure it gets there. If it didn't do that, mm -hmm. it would end up way off course. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't end up in Tampa, Florida, or, or Orlando, Florida. You would end up somewhere in Phoenix or out over the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> right. So you've got to course correct as you go. What a great analogy. Well, thank you. Yeah, uh, and cool. again, it's not mine. It's, uh, you know, I'm just a great student of personal development. And, you know, I heard a, a close with this. One of, the, one of the coolest things I ever heard that really opened my mind up to some things is 